Here we go. Horizon Zero Dawn is simultaneously a role-playing game that plays like an action game. We're known for our first-person shooter series, Killzone, and uh, well, storytelling in an open world and in, in an RPG is not something that we had done before. But I think all of us, we really welcome it as, as just a, a wonderful opportunity to create something that's so fresh, so new, and it's a wonderful challenge for us. This game has a lot of different ecotopes, as we call them. Each of the ecotopes come with their own machines to discover and their own machines basically with their own behaviors and what they're doing in that environment. We've shown at E3 basically our sort of more foresty, uh, fall-like environments, but we also have deserts in the game, we have high mountain peaks co completely covered in snow, we have jungle in the game, we have lots of different environments, and of course a really big part of it is also the ancient ruins that we have in the game, which are again a completely different sort of atmosphere and setting. So the game has a full day-night cycle, but on top of that there's also a very dynamic weather system. So you get the types of weathers that belong to certain ecotopes. And that of course also has an influence on the gameplay. It reduces visibility or makes certain things harder, certain things might also be easier. So there is a, a large component of how the look and the weather and the day cycle basically impacts your experience as a player. The transition from Killzone to Horizon has been really interesting, both from an artistic point of view as well as technically. When we're making Killzone, we're making linear levels or serpentine levels. Maybe you walk through them, but we have very tight control. And that's completely different than the open world, but the player has a lot more freedom to approach things the way that they want to see it. So we really had to basically start looking at the world from a 360 point of view, maybe looking at the all the different directions that the player could approach, how things would look, maybe how the vistas would look, and all these different aspects. PS4 for the players.